coding made easy. So what's up everybody, this is Peter bringing you your next Java made easy tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to be learning about do while loops. So, um, in the last tutorial we learned about while loops and, and everything executed fine. And do while loops are probably the least used loops in uh, C++, Java, C Sharp, um, all those languages. Um, but it is it is cool to learn and you can no you can do without them You do not need do while loops, but they can be useful in certain circumstances So what's one thing in our program? Well one thing is that we, we have a while loop But we know that we want our program to execute at least once correct We know that like they it could run five times it can run seven times it can run 15 times But we know it's gonna execute at least once and so what a do while loop is that it, it ensures that the loop actually executes at least once and then it does a check later. The difference between a while loop here is that if running was set to false, this wouldn't run at all. With a do while loop, if running was set to false, it would run this, then it would check if running is equal to false, then it would exit the loop. So this one, it checks first, a do while loop checks after. So this is the syntax of a do while loop. So you'll put do, the curly braces, and at the end of the curly brace, you'll put while, and you put the condition, and you'll put the um, the semicolon there. So what this does, it says, okay, do all this. Do what's in these braces. Then after you're done, check the condition. If the condition is true, then we're going to loop through it again. But if the condition is false, we'll exit. But this ensures at least one execution of the program. So if you if you're worried that one execution won't happen, then a do while loop can be beneficial. So to show you that it will work the exact same, we'll run this program. And what we'll do is we'll um or you know what? I'll stop the execution and I'm gonna set this to false just to prove to you that it works. And it's set to false already. So uh, we're going to run this program. And the program still works, right? So with a while loop, it wouldn't even execute this, but it's going to execute it. It's going to ask us for a grade. We'll put 80. It says you got an A. It doesn't matter which number we enter, but we put 7, and our program is done. So this it executed it, checked for the condition, realized that it's running with false, so it exited the do while loop. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and bye for now.